What's up guys, Sal here, and for the last painful four weeks, I have been messing around with Bazai Linux, a Linux distro that is said to be, what did they say about this Linux distro, the next generation of Linux gaming? Either way, I have been messing with it on various hardware, such as the AliExpress gaming laptop, the Alienware M15 R5, and also a Alienware Area 51, a huge, humongous, willy mammoth of a damn computer. And I have been pulling my hair out with some of the complications and frustrations that I have been having despite it being one of the best Linux distros for gaming or for those looking for a Steam OS-like environment. When I first started this, I didn't know what the f I was getting myself into. But despite all that bullshit, let's take a look at <laughs> my very painful journey. We're gonna be installing it on this Alienware M15 R5. But first, let's be a little redonkulous and bring out the Ally Express Gaming Beast for one last encore. How did it perform on the AliExpress gaming laptop? Hellbound, which is a freaking cool 90s-like FPS, had audio issues. Weird audio issues where it wouldn't play through the laptop's speakers, but would play through the headphones? Hoping to fix it, I went into the settings on the Steam app, verified the install files, and then changed the compatibility layer to Proton 7. I then reloaded the game. <laughs> yeah. Thinking to myself, I said, I'm a genius. I should make a short teaching newcomers to Linux gaming how to fix it. But I've been having some issues with certain games not playing audio even though the audio is working on the laptop but i think i found a quick fix now the solution i did find was to go into the settings of the game you want to manage the settings you're going to go to properties and then from properties you're going to want to go to compatibility oh lovely of course the game audio decided not to work while i'm recording a video you son of a Thanks, Linux. Way to make me look like a do moss. Mr. Dumbass, I can bring a lot to Dumbass and Dumbass. I'm a go-getter. Dumbass material all the way. Half-Life works. Obviously, it's a Valve game. They weren't about to let their own IP take a shit in their own environment. Quake had some of the same issues. No sound. Seems like some games sound work like Arcos which is another pretty cool 90s-like FPS. And others, they yeah. just wouldn't. Sound would work, and for whatever reason, would just stop. It also seemed like Hexen would drop frames randomly, and there was a weird keyboard setup, but that can be fixed in the controller settings in Steam, so we had to bring out this. Behemoth of a computer. Jesus Christ, this thing is huge. This is the Alienware Area 51. And can you believe that this moron thought that this was going to perform better just because it had a dedicated GPU? At this point, I was like, screw it. Even though the developers of Bazite Linux suggested or honestly wouldn't even let you download the image for Bazite Linux Decky Loader, which is kind of similar to the Steam Deck software, which is what you would install on a handheld, I'm putting it on this AliExpress gaming laptop to see if we get any better results. I don't know when to quit. Hey, loser! It's a problem. Well, there's a step in the right direction. The freaking sound works. 
then for some reason, once you got right into the game, the sound cut out again. Then you have to go and restart the machine just to get the sound working on the laptop again. Go back into Hellbound and the sound does not work anymore. But the sound works in other games. What in the absolute f is going on here? If anybody knows what's going on here, let me know in the comments down below. But it doesn't make any sense why it works, then it doesn't work. You would imagine that it would just wouldn't work at all. Testing these games in Windows on the Ally Express gaming laptop, they obviously worked. Even Hexen worked without any issues whatsoever. I'm pretty sure the keyboard was working too. So we get to the star of the show, an actual, actual gaming laptop. And that's this Alienware M15 R5 with a 3070 GPU Ryzen 9 5900X. I think I got that right. The first thing I installed was the Bazite deck image. This is the image you would install on handhelds to get a Steam-like environment. And I was greeted with it hanging up at the verifying installation. A little research later, I found some commands to get me in there. And, but unfortunately, when you restart it, it did it all over again. So I decided to install the Bazite stable image. Audio was working in Hellbound. just happened and also in doom but if you notice doom is running at a horrible frame rate turns out that for some reason bazite is using the amd radian integrated graphics as default and it will not use the nvidia gpu now obviously on windows doom runs at a amazing frame rate on ultra as long as the plug is plugged in but it was at this point that i got a bright idea i started to use my big brain as i thought to myself isn't there a image specifically for nvidia gpus and yes there is and at that point i'm like oh my god that's why it's not working and i played doom and oh my god the frame rate still sucked, and everybody in the forums kept repeating, even the Google AI kept saying that by default, Bazite will install the drivers for NVIDIA as long as you don't have secure boot on, which I did not. One very, very frustrated sound later, I decided it was time to call this quits. It's been four weeks of making this video. I'm not going to quit here. I'm gonna be still for a little while trying to get this fixed. If I find a solution, there will be a video on the We Deem Gaming Community Facebook group. So if you're interested in that, do consider hopping over to Facebook, link in the description, following us there. And while you're there, consider posting some of your projects, some of the accessories and hardware that you bought, and your opinions, because that is what that community was meant for. And so far it's, I've done a shit poor job of growing it. If you have any questions or any insight, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow us on social for some extra gaming content. And as always, as for now, I'll see you in the next one. Wait, just a minute. I am planning on in the future installing Bazite Linux on a ridiculous handheld gaming PC. So if you're interested in seeing where that journey leads, you know what to do. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.